Hey gang, typically I do my morning video right in the morning, a couple hours before the opening bell, but tonight I realized I have a, a, an air, airplane at about 7.30 and I'll be flying and I'll be landing right around the time the market opens. So there's no way I'll be able to do this uh, tomorrow morning. But I wanna give you some thoughts for tonight and give you the leading lagging sectors and explain to you what I'm thinking and why right now. So earnings have been really, really good and most markets not most markets, most sectors and stocks have been getting pretty overbought. I mean, look at this run-up we've had. This has been a doozy. But I'm going to tell you something interesting. If you look at semiconductors, and semiconductors is a leading tech sector. If you look at semiconductors, look at where they're pausing right now, right around this base, right around that level, that hump I called, where that 8.6 CPI took the market to new lows. Now, since then, the CPI went higher, but the market already priced it in. But the bottom line is we're stalling around this level. Keep in mind, we're still below the 200-day moving average. And the five-day RSI is way, way overbought. If you, look at, um, if you look at the consumer discretionary sector, even though it went up a little bit today, look at that candle. That's a reversal bar right there. And it looks like it's running out of momentum. Look at the divergence. It's going down while these levels are going higher. And yes, we're below the 200-day moving average. So if we turn down right now, which I, I, I strongly believe we will, at least till we get down to this base, I think the market will still be in a downtrend. So this to me at this point in time looks like a short-term pullback from a strong downtrend instead of a reversal. And if you look at sectors, if you look at sectors, Take a look at, like, for example, look at uh, consumer staples, still holding and being very, very choppy. Look at healthcare, very, very choppy and predictable. But look at, uh, for example, look, look at technology. Look at that. Too much, too fast, closing at the bottom. And by the way, we opened up really, really strong today, and then we went down, and I'm seeing the exact same thing with the consumer discretionary and communication, just as I predicted. Another major factor, and this is something you need to pay attention to, markets are once again opening really, really strong, gaining a lot of traction in the morning, and then uh, going down. It's the, it's the, it's, it's, um, that is a sign of a bearish market. A bullish market is when you open down low, 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 and you go up during the day. A, a bearish market is when you open up and go down. And notice the rally in the tech just faded, completely fizzled out. Another factor that I'm noticing is volatility. If you look at VIX, and uh, we put our money where our mouth is, so to speak. We, we gave a signal on the VIX, but the VIX looks like it's done going down, and the RSI is diverging the other way, which means the odds are we're going to turn higher, and also we're near uh, medium-term, I don't want to say long-term, medium-term support levels. So the bottom line to me looks like the market is going to start weakening out also also um, i think ahead of the cpi report the market's going to be a little dull tomorrow we've got earnings but the majority the fang stocks the market dri driven stocks are down so i think we're going to get a little bit of a list listless market now i want to point out something else to your attention something that's very interesting this is something i haven't focused on in quite some time i want to look at uh the the atr I want to see volatility has been getting higher or lower. And then, then we'll look at one final thing. So the 10-day ATR, let's take a look here. See, with the market going up, look at volatility. Look how much it's been dropping. And I think right now, till we get a little more certainty from the market, I think volatility has bottomed out. If you look at where it is right now, we're near the levels we we started with right around beginning of the year. And the Dow went from having about 750 point move days to about 400 point move days. And I think that's going to revert as the market comes down. So I, I can't say I'm certain, but I have a very strong suspicion that we're going to turn around. Another major factor that, uh, that I wanna point out is we still have 256 stocks making 20 day highs and we have only 15 stocks making 20-day lows. And typically, when that number gets out of whack, it typically means the market is going to cool off and get back into a li a li equilibrium. That's the word, equilibrium. So in a nutshell, be very, very cautious right now. And that leads me to my sectors. If you look at the major sectors, and if you look at them cumulatively, 
no major change. Energy, utilities, but look at technology and consumer staples. They are far from each other. I'm willing to bet you a nickel, so to speak figure of speech, that technology is going to drop and meet consumer discretionary. And as the market cools off, especially the QQQs, they're going to meet each other down. So look for healthcare, look for consumer staples to come up. The big question mark right now, the big, big question mark right now is the energy sector and the utility sector. Because if energy stays low, utilities will obviously drop. Um, but if, if energy comes back up, uh, that's the big, big question. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty confident that healthcare can withstand this, and I'm pretty confident that consumer staples can withstand that because they do well in an inflationary and in a in a uh, in a in a recessionary market, but energy will not. So it's very, it's it's a very big question mark right now whether this is a pullback or this is it for the energy. So we gotta look for energy to break, XLE to break above 80. If it breaks above 80, there's a good chance we'll, 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 hit, we'll test old highs again, or maybe go up there, because, because there could be a chance we could have another run up of panic, the war's still there. But if not, we can be in deep doo-doo. So the strongest sector right now in the S&P, let me just give you both. On a cumulative basis, it's energies and utilities. I would honestly put utilities ahead of energies right now because look at where energy is getting all of it, all of the power from. The six month high where utilities, look at where they're at. Six months for this month, well, energies are seven months. But look at three month, 1% versus negativity. So I kind of like the utilities and utilities will be f slower to drop because they are inflation sensitive. The weakest sector, folks, communication services. It's, 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 it's not doing so well. Now, on a monthly basis, consumer discretionary is still leading and technology follows. Don't hold your breath. This is going to decline. If I'm wrong, it's good for the market. So I'll be happy if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. And uh, the weakest sector is the healthcare sector. I'm expecting that one to actually rally. So that's my update. Now, before I let you go, I've got something important for you folks. This could be... Uh, this could be a big one, all right? On Wednesday, August 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm sharing details of a new project that allows anyone to build their own custom-built ETF. Man, this is exciting. I'm excited to share the details with you, and you're going to learn how to custom-build your own ETF, core factors behind what I call front-runner stocks, the stock selection process, portfolio management tips, plus my number one front-runner stock, to finish 2022 strong. Click the link below, sign up for the invite. And because you waited all the way till the end of the video, let me give you my strongest stock and my weakest stock right now. My strongest stock right now, believe it or not, it's Enphase Energy or Monolithic Power or Oxy. These three are all good and they're all energy stocks. Enphase has a lot of solar exposure. And here uh, on the weakest one, Newmont, Stanley, and honestly, I'd go with the Carnival and Royal Caribbean, especially with uh, the cruise liners reporting this week. Carnival Cruise Line, don't like them, and I don't like Dish or Expedia either. So I would go with these, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Dish, and Expedia. All right, I'll see you guys later. Comments, feedback are welcome. If you can't find the link, it's in the YouTube channel under the descriptor or below this video. This is my last video from Washington, D.C. Tuning out, this is Roger Scott. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at the VIP room.